Right, so let's talk for a minute about this. This is the H&B Forge Medium Camp Tomahawk. I picked this one because it's middle of the weight for what they make. The head weighs in at about uh, just under a pound. I think it's 12 ounces. 1095 carbon steel in the bit here. And a more mild steel for the rest of the head. The hammer pole is not hardened, so I'd stick to pounding wood or plastic stakes in, things of that nature. Maybe. This thing performs pretty well, holds a pretty decent edge. Uh, I see it holds a really, really nice edge. It is a touch on the soft side. As, uh, personally, I prefer that because this is less likely to chip, and it's a lot easier to fix a rolled edge than it is to fix a chipped edge. Now, that's not to say that you want soft metal or that this is um, too soft to hold a good edge. It's just slightly softer than the cold steels. This one came with an 18 inch handle. I believe now you can order them with the choice of a 17 or a 19 inch handle. Personally, I do have another handle for this but I wanted to test it today with the handle that came with it. It's a little narrower down here by the grip. Not terribly bad but I would like to see it a little thicker for my own personal taste. But these are pretty much sold as throwing and camp hawks, but they're they're not terribly small, not as small as some other ones that I've seen. But totally workable. For me, it's totally workable. And I absolutely love the hammer marks on it. And some people might not like that. Very rough. Still has the the scaling on it. And. I, I don't have any intentions of cleaning that up. I really, really like the look of it. Very rustic. Um, it's got their mark on it. it and I, I wish I knew his name. I'd annotate that. They make good stuff. I have another one of theirs. This is the uh, Franciscan. This is not necessarily a woods tool. I bought this specifically to look cool and hang on my wall. I've used this, I've chopped with it, I've cut with it, definitely thrown with it. Um, it's, a, it's a great tool and it's, uh, like I, I, I say, it's not a woods tool. That's not because it can't do it, it's just because it's not exactly the most desirable head design. But I really like this one. This, this is just for fun. So every now and then, you know, it's kind of, kind of nice to just buy something for fun. Anyways, that's just to show that um, the two Two of their axes that I've that I purchased have been uh, very high quality. Very happy with with the way they came. Fairly sharp from the from the manufacturer. I definitely touch the edge up and put my own my own personal taste of grinds on there. It's a it's a pretty robust convex edge. Just because I've, I've found that if you get these too sharp, uh, they will you know you'll an axe. You'll have a tendency to chip and dole the blade faster. I like a little more stout. I don't just carve with these. I like to smash stuff and use them the way I think they're intended to be used. Um, they're not some delicate little flower to be held on a shelf. Um, I take these things out and beat the snout out of them. Um, I don't abuse them, but I'm not afraid to use them. So anyways, everybody asks me what my favorite tomahawk is, and I do, I do enjoy the cold steels, but that's not the only thing out there. They make a good product for their price range. But these guys are middle of the road price range for a custom hawk and or an axe. And I think for the price, you can't beat it. You, um, I, I don't think you can. Uh, I've had this for almost three years now. So I have had it for a while and I've been packing it for, for those three years on and off. And it's never let me down. I think they're going for $70 now. You can definitely check their website and see what they offer. They've got quite a few different styles out there too. If you want specific throwing, more of a throwing hawk, they've got those too. So I don't know what else to say. Basically let the video speak for itself. It is light and you'll have to realize that you know it's a light axe. It's, it's not a two pound axe. It's not a boy's axe. It is a light axe and it will bounce out of really heavy thick material, it'll bounce out of wet, uh, wet wood and green wood, um, just because it doesn't have the weight. Will it work? Definitely. Will it chop? Definitely. Is it the most efficient? No. 
They're great universal tools. They're multi-purpose, multi-function, very lightweight. Nice thing about the tomahawk is the, uh, the removable head. You can do a lot of work with this. It can be more useful off the handle sometimes than it is on the handle. And certainly you can do a lot of the stuff with the handle on, but this just gives you another another option to uh, to optimize you know what, what you're trying to do. So there you go guys. Hope you enjoy. Stay safe. Practice your skills. Leave a comment. Constructive criticism is always welcome. That's how we learn. Until next time guys. See ya.